Hi, what I'd like to do in this quick lesson is just to show you how to crop an image and then also to, in, to um, save or export a JPEG of the image so that it is under a particular size limitation. Now, the first thing I want to do right now is to open a new image. So I'm going to go into File. Sorry, make sure you are in Photoshop. We are using Photoshop. File, Open. And I'm going to go and search for an image. So I've, I've probably downloaded an image before. So I'm going to pick one that I've used before. So excuse me while I scan through. Uh, yeah, this one. Mm, this one. Okay. So this is the original image. Beautiful image. And what I want to do with this image is, first of all, I want to crop it to a specific width and height. So in order, the crop tool is here. This is your crop tool. So click the crop tool. And what you can do is you can specify the width and the height that you're looking for. So in this one, within this area, you can actually um, have a width height resolution. So you can have it in pixels. Okay. So what I want to do is I want pixels um, per inch or per centimeter. And then I'm going to put in here that I would like a, a width of 615 pixels and I'd like now it's coming up a centimeter hold on a second I'd like that to change I think what I'll do there is put px pixels and I'd like 650 px right and I'm changing this to per inch because that's what I'm used to so 615 pixels by 650 so what the crop area has done is it selected what it thinks is a good part of the image to display that that um, to display these proportions 615 width six, um, 650 height. But if you're not satisfied with what it selected, you can just click on the image and move it so that you've got what you want within that kind of grid area that you'd like to crop to. And the reason you crop is so that you don't distort the image, but you do make the image fit a, spe a specified smaller area. So once I'm satisfied with this, 615 by 650, I can simply go all the way here and click tick. And what it does is it now crops that image to that size, and it saves you all having to drag and, 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 drag and position it roughly where you want. It's more accurate. And once you've got your image, you need to export it as a JPEG. So you go to File, and you export, and you export as. Now what that does is it opens up the Export As dialog box. And here, you can now play a little around with the image a bit more. Now right now, this image is 175.3 k kilobytes. But let's say that the lit they've said you can't have images um, bigger than 150. So you have to adjust certain things in this image to bring the kilobytes, the size of the image, down to 150 or less. So what you do is ensure that your format is JPEG and you know you're happy with the size, 615 by 650, which is exactly what we want. Then you go to the quality and you move this slider slightly down a little, click out of it, and then you'll notice here that the, that the um, size of the image has dropped to under 150, whereas before, at 100%, let's take it back for you to see, at 100%, it was 175.3, but we actually had a limit of 150, so we moved it down slightly, and the um, size of the image has dropped uh, below 150, which is what we require. Now, if you look at the image, it's still relatively sharp and all the details you want are showing. And if you're satisfied with that and you've, um, you've done the needful, then simply export all. So I'm going to call this Guitar Hands and I'll put a C because that's for my C, my circular image gallery, gallery that I'm going to make later. So I'm going to export that and bingo, done. So my image is out and that's it and that's how you crop an image and save it and adjust it so that it fits a particular kilobyte size and so that the files are within the limit specified 
I'd like you all to try this and then get back to me if you have any problems. Thank you. See you later. Bye.